First off, I want to uh, welcome everybody in attendance. Okay, we obviously are here to recognize our uh, seniors on their athletic awards and accomplishments, and also for our seniors that are going to be moving on and participating in collegiate sports uh, come the fall uh, of 2024 and obviously into the spring of 2025. Uh, first thing I want to say is if you are here in attendance today, okay, and you're one of our students, please understand that this ceremony is to recognize all the hard work of these young men and women. So if you're in the audience, my expectation is that one, you're respectful, two, your phones are put away, and we're paying attention the entire time, okay? So I appreciate you teachers that have brought your students down. But please understand, if we're not following those expectations, I will ask you to leave. Because once again, this is to recognize a lot of hard work and it's very uh, significant ceremony. So I appreciate everyone that's here. Uh, when it comes to families, okay, the success of these student athletes, it all starts at home. It starts with you. It starts with the foundations that you have created that has led to a pathway for these kids to perform at the levels that they have. So the first round of applause this uh, afternoon needs to go to all the parents, guardians, and families in the audience today. <laughs> Great part about a, a ceremony like this is that you're, you're recognizing true student athletes. And there's a reason why that phrase is student athlete and not the other way around. These individuals, they excel athletically in what they do and the crafts that they have. They work every single day to get better in that endeavor. But they also have put at the forefront their academics. And a lot of these names will be recognized tomorrow night at our academic evening of excellence. And as a principal, that's what uh, I take the most pride in, is that the people that we're recognizing today are true ambassadors of our community. These are young adults that make a positive difference in all that they do. Um, and that's why it's important for us to, to recognize them in the manner in which we will uh, this afternoon. So I wanted to just uh, quickly give a little bit of a layout of how we're going to conduct this ceremony. Um, we're going to start off with recognizing the different awards. I'm going to read off a description of what the award is about. Then I'm going to call up the coach or coaches uh, to speak on the behalf of the uh, individual that we are here to recognize. Okay, so coaches will come up. They're going to give their speech. Once they conclude that speech, we're going to call up the student that they're talking about. They'll walk up the stairwell here and they will receive their award and obviously uh, shake hands with, with their coach in the process. Okay, so I want to go over that. Once we get through all the awards, then we will start our collegiate signing um, part of the presentation. That's what that table is, is here for. We do have six uh, of our student athletes that will be moving on to participate in collegiate sports. And so we're, we're very excited for that. Once again, I'll call the coach up who will speak on behalf of that individual before both coach and uh, the student athlete will have a seat and sign off on um, their letter of intent. Okay, so um, that's the structuring of our program this afternoon. For families, just so you know, once we conclude everything, we are going to leave this setup here, this backdrop for pictures. So you're going to have as much time as you want to get pictures of uh, your son or daughter, along with any friends that you want to be in those pictures. But I want to make sure that you understand we're not going to rush that moment. We'll get through the whole presentation and then uh, give you plenty of time to, to do what you need to do, okay? So uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Jeff Altman. I am the principal of Groveport Madison High School. Uh, welcome to our building. Uh, like I said, this is a, a ceremony uh, that truly matters a lot to me. Uh, I was a teacher in this building for 12 years before transitioning the last three years 
to the administrative side. And why that's important to me, selfishly, is the last group of kids that I got to teach and that I got to be in front of is the group of seniors that are graduating now. So when I see names like Nessa Warmter and I see some of these young people that I know um, were in my classroom, it makes me incredibly proud. And so it's, it's uh, a special class and a special group in my heart. Uh, and I'm just uh, incredibly proud to see the names of who we're recognizing today. So with that being said, the Ohio High School Athletic Association has established annual awards to recognize student athletes and one adult who exemplifies good sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity. The first award that we're going to recognize today is the Agonist Club Scholar Athlete Award. The OHSAA encourages achievement within the classroom as well as on the playing surface and they want to recognize some of the state's top scholar athletes by providing the Scholar Athlete Award. This award exemplifies the commitment, success, both academically and athletically. And now I'm going to welcome to the stage our two coaches that are going to give a speech on the individuals that were selected for this award. So if I could have come up here, Coach Hayden Van Kirk and Coach Mitchell Westcamp at this time. Let's give them a round of applause. Sorry, we have Mr. Schneider, not Mr. Westcamp on this one. He looks a lot better, we're okay. On that. Thank you. Nothing like starting off, huh? All right, so this guy, um, I've had the opportunity to coach him over the last three years. Um, this is a really special kid, and in my opinion, uh, because he does does some things that a lot of people cannot do at the high school level um, This guy's a two-sport athlete, so not just during different seasons He's playing two sports at the same time, which is not very easy to do with all the time commitments in high school um, He plays soccer and he plays football um, I know him mostly through soccer being the, the soccer coach um, he will be attending, you'll see him up here in a minute for signing as well for football, but this kid has been a very vital part of, of our team over the last three years. Um, he's played very many different roles, um, and his knowledge of the game is a lot higher than a lot of kids his age. Um, some awards that he's won on the field, um, he has won second team all conferences junior season, and he's also won this award just for the soccer team. Um, what, may, what makes this kid so special is athletics aside, um, he, he's somebody you can count on. When, when you're a young coach, especially like myself, you, you need some guys that, that can pull in a crowd, and, and this kid does it very well. Um, so I'd like to welcome Will Morgan to the stage.
This next award, I am speaking on behalf of Coach Coyer, who could not be here today, for Eva Walton. It says, Eva Walton is an example. If you work hard, anything is possible. She's a multi-sport athlete, multiple club member, and an outstanding student in the classroom. Eva was a four-year starter and three-year captain in soccer, and also succeeded in track for four years. She's a great example of a student athlete and a great ambassador of the Groveport community. Eva, come up and get your award. Yes, thank you mom and dad for giving us uh, this young lady. Uh, she's left her mark on our community, there's no doubt about that. Will, I know you might not be the best with words in a moment like that, man, but uh, you, you, the both of you, like I said, every time I run into you, anytime you communicate, it doesn't matter if it's another student in this building or if it's an adult, you always treat those individuals with respect and you make them feel important in your presence. That's, that's one of the things, right away, the two of you have that quality and I can't tell you how much I appreciate who you are and how you conduct yourself. So, well earned and deserved, congratulations. The next award that we have is the OHSAA Courageous Student Award. This award is intended to bring credit to a very special student who has been involved in or supportive of the Inner Scholastic Athletic Program and who deserves recognition for courage. And if we can give him a warm welcome, we're going to have Coach Chris Downing introduce this award. This award is a no-brainer here at school for people who know the situation. And I'm actually going to put her on the spot. And I'm actually going to have Allison come up now before I talk about her. that she's receiving, I think when you think of courage, the first thing you should think of is heart. And truly, Addison physically has a different heart than any of us. So if you do not know the story, three years ago, <clears throat> mom and dad came to me and called me and said, hey, Addison had a doctor's appointment today and she's got to go back. There might, there might be an issue. And to speed things up, before long, she came back and said, I have to have open heart surgery. First of all, anyone has to go through open heart surgery. It's traumatic, much less a sophomore in high school. What was great about what Allison did is I remember the day after surgery, the, the, I know you remember this, <clears throat> the nurses were so shocked that she walked down the hallway of the hospital right after surgery, which was amazing. They all taking pictures and video and couldn't believe it. But I attest her attacking this issue, which how for four years she attacked an outside fastball on the diamond, which she crushed it every time, and she crushed this situation. Without saying a word, she's been so motivating not only to her coaches, but to the athletes that's played with her. Um, there's no other person that I think I've looked up to in my coaching career and what she went through. She missed no time. She came back, started January, which we were scared to death uh, that she was with us. I made sure that JD always made sure we had the AED 
because I was really scared about what might happen. We also have a coach that had heart, heart issues, so I have two of them to worry about. But Addison's courage and what she has done is amazing. And I, I think that leads into what she's going to do after high school. She's going to attend a high state university or the high state university and go into nursing. So I think she's going to pay back the people that treated her so well and forever in her life be indebted to them and then help others. So I think that's just terrific. So no doubt Addison deserves the Courage Student Award. So there's something else that no one knows about that I can now release it is Addison just received second team all OCC and the OCC Scholar Athlete Award for softball. Thank you, Coach Downing. That's not going to be easy to follow up, that's for sure. Um, Addie, I, I, I don't really know how I can add on to that um, besides uh, just reinforcing how much of a pleasure it's been to watch you uh, grow up here in the last four years and to see the leader that you've become. Um, you know, I, I knew that background information about what you went through, but um, one thing I will say is someone like you, I, I look at, and you're such an aspiration to, to someone like myself. Um, my own son was, was born with a congenital heart defect. And so at five weeks old, he had to have open heart surgery. And so I know as a family what that felt like and, and, and know how hard that is. Um, and he's at the age now where he's five years old, he's going on six, but he's starting to ask questions as to, Dad, why I got this scar? You know, why, why am I different than other kids? And I try to make him understand that that's something that you need to embrace. But I also know as he gets older, that someone like Addison, I, I, I know I'm gonna still have a connection with and a rapport with where I know I'll be able to show him examples of people that have went through something similar and look where she ended up, bud. So, or wear it as a badge of honor, you know? And so, Addie, that's what I mean when I say you're gonna have such an impact with your story and who you are. Uh, and I just wanna thank you uh, for being you, uh, to say the least. The next student that, uh, or the next award that we would like to recognize, two students are getting recognized for this award. This is the OHSAA Archie Griffin Sportsmanship Award. As part of an ongoing program to promote sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity, the OHSAA would like to recognize students who display exemplary sportsmanship. This award is named the Archie Griffin Award. Mr. Griffin is an Ohio native the only two-time recipient of the Heisman Trophy for football, and as a professional athlete, he always displayed exemplary sportsmanship. Mr. Griffin is the current CEO of the Ohio State University Alumni Association and has been active in promoting sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity for many years. He was honored in 1998 as the recipient of this prestigious OHSAA Ethics and Integrity Award. So I'm gonna call up my first presenter for this award and that is Coach Blake Snyder. All right, so this next guy that I'm gonna talk about today uh, again, really, really special kid to me. Um, got the privilege again to, to coach him for three years. Um, and he, he's one of those kids that every coach dreams of coaching about. Um, some, some qualities of this guy that stand out to me that I think put him in a different category are he works hard. 
He works harder than everybody around him. Uh, he's selfless. You can ask him to do literally anything, and he will not complain at all, and he does it with a smile on his face. He's a good role model. Uh, he was one of the captains on our team, and, and for good reason. You, you look at this kid, and, and he, he does everything right. Um, he's got the heart of a lion. This kid does not, does not stop, and he will give everything he has all the time, and, and I really admire that about him. Um, and, he, and he gets things done. Um, one of those kids you can look at and be like, hey, go get a couple guys, I need this done. Yes, coach. No arguments, especially nowadays. That's really rare, and I really appreciate that about him. Um, he's had multiple roles on our team over the last couple years. We've had a couple different coaches in his career, and he's had to play some different positions. He never complained again, just always a smile on his face. He's, he's happy to be there. Uh, a couple of awards that he has gotten on the field. His junior season, he was special mention for our district. Or our conference. His senior season, he was honorable mention. And for our team award, he won the Cruiser Award, which is all about being a good teammate. Um, this kid is always smiling, always working hard, and at the end of the day, he's going to be a huge loss for our program. Nana Crappie. Thank you, Coach Snyder. Congratulations, sir. This next young lady, uh, unfortunately, our volleyball coach, Miss uh, Susan Shelton, could not be here. So I want to read the synopsis um, and her description as to uh, why she chose this next young lady. Okay? And this is Miss Devin Williams. Devin is a four-year varsity athlete in volleyball. As a captain this year, she helped to lead not just her team, but all players in the program. She led by example through her actions and words. Devin often jumped into drills and on the sidelines at the JV and freshman practices so that she could help those players improve. She is without a doubt the most positive athlete I have ever gotten to work with we could be losing a match 24 to zero and Devin would be yelling, we got this ladies. We can do this. And I can't let Devin leave this school without mentioning that she is the only athlete that I know that can rock a string of pearls during every practice. So let's give a big round of applause to Ms. Devin Williams. Thank you to my dad for sitting in the crowd. <laughs> Thank you for driving hours on end from state to state to help me get to tournaments and making sure I always had snacks. <laughs> I tell you, you know, I know some of you are shy to get up on this mic and you don't like to ramble like Mr. Rolf, and I get it. Uh, but one of the one of the things that I keep hearing uh, of those who come up here, and that's why we started off the first round of applause with our parents and guardians and our families. You're seeing them thank mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. Don't think that the work that you've done over the last 18 years has not has went unnoticed. They notice every single thing you do. You might not hear it every single day, but then when we get to these bigger moments, they, they want to let you know because they know you've been the one constant and consistent people in their lives pushing them to achieve more than they probably thought was possible. So kudos to you all. The next award that we're going to recognize here is the OHSAA Award of Excellence.
Excellence. This award is to be presented to a student who has exhibited qualities that embody good citizenship, good moral character, and good sporting behavior. In presenting this award, we're going to call back up to the podium Coach Blake Snyder. Switching sports. So, I've been talking about some soccer guys, now we're going to talk about a baseball guy. Um, this kid, again, another special kid, got a coach him over the last three years. Um, not only does he play baseball, and he's an absolute beast at it, but he's also captain of the wrestling team and the baseball team. Um, he's a hard worker, he loves baseball, and he's a true competitor. Um, there's not a moment that this kid is not grinding, smiling just out there having fun, but at the end of the day, he likes to win. Um, always always loves to be around his friends. I, again, this year, very tough year for us, but he made the best out of it and never complained. Um, great great behind the plate for us. Could not, could not replace him and we're gonna miss him a lot. This next guy is Brandon Grove. Congratulations, Mr. Grove. Uh, one thing that I, I will say about Brandon, too, is he's incredibly positive at all times in our building, but one thing I'll remember is, you know, just this past year, um, you know, football games, he was working with the, the trainer uh, on, on the sidelines on Friday nights. He was dependable, he was always there, um, and uh, he's just been a positive presence. And I know the, the group of young people that he kind of runs with, they're always having good days, they're always positive. We're gonna truly miss you all, there's no doubt about it. And uh, you know, one of the goals for me as a building leader is just enhancing this school culture to celebrate all of these young people that do amazing things. Grove Park can get stereotyped for a lot of things, and I've been here my whole life. But one thing people that are from here know is that we got a lot of diamonds in the rough. And one of the things that we gotta do is we gotta showcase that success better. And that's why events like this need to happen. Because nobody in this audience needs to be stereotyped for anything but besides being an excellent student athlete and doing things the right way. So congratulations to you, Brandon. Getting into the next few awards that we have, okay? This next award is the Columbus Dispatch Scholar Athlete Award, and it is a plaque. So I am going to call up Coach Westcamp to speak on behalf of this student athlete. All right, I appreciate you. Um, this guy that got this award, you know, I didn't think I was going to talk about him, and then I realized that we need to talk about him for this sport. You know, he's already gotten an award today. You know, we've kind of got, we've been fortunate the last, I don't know how many years, Coach E, uh, the soccer guy's coming out to kick for us for football. Um, and, and Will, I'm going to talk about you. You can make your way up here if you want real quick. Um, Will's a guy, you know, early on, freshman year comes out, you know, we're looking like, this guy's never kicked, you know. He wants to come kick a football, but, you know, he was pretty decent at it to start, but you talk about a guy that he comes out, he works on his craft, you see him out there on his own all the time. Um, you're gonna, he's gonna be up here again eventually too. He's fortunate enough, he's gonna keep kicking um, at the next level. But, um, you know, obviously soccer, I asked Coach Snyder, I knew that was a no-brainer. He was scholar athlete uh, for soccer, and then obviously um, football was a pretty easy decision too. So your Columbus Dispatch Scholar Athlete goes to Will Morgan. Thank you, Coach Westcamp. Thank you, Will. 
Our next award here is the Lucinda Norsom Award, which goes to Outstanding Female Senior Athlete. And to introduce this student athlete, I'm gonna call back up to the podium, Coach Hayden Van Kirk. This award is for a female who already got an award, so I'll keep it short. A two-sport athlete, great at both sports she plays, Eva Walton. Give it up for you, The next award here is the Mac Sims Award that goes to the Outstanding Male Senior Athlete. And I'm going to call back up Coach Westcamp to present this award. Okay, um, you know, just kind of a little backstory on this award, and I know Coach Snyder would probably talk more than I can about this. I, I had a staff member ask me earlier today, what, what is the Max Sims Award? I said, it's like, you love college football, right? It's like the Heisman. It's like the, the best player in college football. So, Max Sims Award is basically, basically our best male athlete. Um, I'm going to call Jason. I'm just going to have you come up here and put you on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, we talk about these awards. You always talk about this is an easy decision. It's a no-brainer on this one as far as the football aspect goes. You know, Jace, I'm going to read some stuff that he's done. Um, he is our all-time leader in tackles career at Groveport Madison High School. He also has carried a 3.0 or higher the entire time as well. As a sophomore, first team OCC, second team all district. Junior, first team, all, first team OCC, first team all district, and second team all state. And then as a senior. First team OCC, first team all district, second team all state, and he earned our team MVP award for football. Um, you know, as far as football goes, you don't see many guys, you know, the three year first teamers in the OCC and all district and those type of things. You know, we don't see that often. We appreciate as, as football coaches. Um, I'm not big on writing stuff, but I felt, you know, this is the first time I've actually done this, writing something down because Jace, Jace is a little different. Um, Jace is an exceptional athlete with outstanding character. His dedication to football uh, is unmatched. The, kid, the guy puts in work. During his four years at Groveport, he, he is led by example in all aspects of the game. His passion for the game has always been at the highest level. You know, you look past the athletic achievements. achievements. Jace stands out as a role model for his peers and, you know, everybody else around. Um, you know, I always tell people, you know, people don't know my son's on the sideline as a ball boy. He's getting in trouble all the time. These guys know that. Um, it says bad things. We know. Yeah. But he looks up to these guys. You know, every time, you know, Jace doesn't know this, you know, part of my son, you know, two years ago, talking about Mike Robinson. He's talking about Jace. He's talking about some of these guys. So, you know, especially you young guys. Kids are looking up to you. Kids look up to you, and I appreciate that. Um, we're proud, of, we're proud of Jace, everything he's accomplished during high school and at Groveport Madison. And one night, a couple things. I do have one other thing to give to Jace before I give him this. Coach BK, you want to bring that out? So we kind of started something. trend or whatever you want to call it here at Purple Madison High School about five years ago and, I, and it's kind of something I thought about and I thought if you get first or second team all state we're buying New Jersey and we're not retiring at Jays. <laughs> we need the numbers I don't know if you see our numbers. Um, I, I feel like they deserve it they've earned it and it's just one of those things I hope you appreciate that Chase but more importantly and I think 
Mr. Snyder's going to come up and take a picture with you on this one. He might be able to explain why on that one. Your Max Sims Award winner this year is Jace Nancy Helson. I don't got much to say. Just want to thank my family, my teammates, my coaches. Thank you guys for being there for me. One of the things I'll, I'll say here about Jace is, um, I'll tell you what, for a guy of his size, if, if you didn't get out to the football uh, stadium to watch him play, you missed out because, man, he, he laid people out. I really don't know what else to say. He was a monster. Uh, Decleated a lot of kids, a lot of guys bigger than him. But in addition to his athletic talent, you could watch him on a Friday night from the sidelines like I would or from the stands and you just, he stood out because of, he was always going to attack, he was always going to find the ball. But more importantly, I would watch how he was interacting with his other teammates that may be on a play on defense, were in the wrong spot, out of position. Jace always kept his mannerisms calm, cool, and collected. He pulled kids in, he talked to them real quick, smacked them on the helmet, let's go. But. I think having, one, the athletic ability, but then the mannerisms and the type of leader he was, it wasn't like he's the loudest, rah, rah guy like a Mr. Alban, okay? But he gave that quiet confidence, and I think that just got passed on a lot to his teammates where they knew, all right, I can look at Jason, I, I, I'm good. I can feel better about what I'm about to do. And I think that is a special quality that, in order to bring a team together, and I tell you what, this football team this past year, they were as tight-knit of a group as I've seen. Um, and that's why you have gentlemen like this in the front row clapping the way they are and cheering on a guy like Jace because to them, he's family. They love him. They know what kind of person he is. They know what kind of player he is. But they also know what kind of teammate he is. Uh, and I think that's been a quality that's been shared among every person that's been called up. So, Jace, congratulations. Uh, very proud of you. This last award is an OHSAA State Award. Um, and I'm not sure, I don't see him in the audience, but this is for Brian Huebner. Brian, if you're here, come on up. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Huebner, okay? And Mr. Huebner, uh, you know, he runs and, and spearheads our boosters organization. I can't tell you how many hours he puts in just ensuring that when we are hosting games for our student athletes, that the concession stands there, that everything that we need on a Friday night is, is ready to roll. Whatever's needed on a Tuesday, Thursday, it doesn't matter. Mr. Huebner and his wife are always going to ensure that our kids are taken care of. He's got a heart of gold. He believes in servant leadership, and so do I. And that's always, in everything you do, putting others before yourself. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but I think he's perfected that craft. And so uh, the state award here, one more time, goes to Brian Huebner. All right, so we have now gotten through all of the athletic awards, okay? And so now part two of this ceremony uh, becomes more fixated on our uh, seniors that are going off to college to continue their athletic careers. So the first student that we're a student athlete we're gonna talk about I'm gonna bring up Coach Hayden Van Kirk, and he is going to talk about Mr. Monty Thompson. So Monty, you can come on up to the stage if you're in the audience, sir.
will read you. Coach Alton, like he told you, obviously wasn't able to be here, so I will read you uh, what Coach Alton, the boys track coach, said about Monty. Said Monty is a said Monty is a very dedicated athlete who will do great things after high school. After having his freshman season cut short by COVID, he never wavered in his pursuit of being the best he could be on and off the track. He was never deterred by the obstacles that stood in his way. He showed up every day, putting the work it takes to be great. I have no doubt his work ethic and dedication will lead to success in the next chapter of his life, both academically and athletically. Well, I'm good inside, man. Monty's a man of few words, so he's choosing not to speak, and that's okay. Indiana East, congratulations, Monty. The next student athlete that I will have, Coach uh, Hayden Van Kirk, uh, talk about is Miss Aubrey Glover. had the pleasure of coaching Aubrey for the last two years when I took over as the head girls coach and I'll read what I wrote down. Aubrey took on many roles for our track team. On top of being the best runner, she was also the only varsity runner that was a senior and the only one who had any varsity experience. So she took on a big role. She did not hesitate to take on this leadership role and demonstrate to our young team how to operate as high school athletes, varsity athletes specifically. She missed one meet this year due to prom, and our team didn't know how to operate without Aubrey being there telling them what to do and when to do it. Um, with me coming in as an inexperienced coach last year, she made my job very easy with her skills as a leader, both at practice and at meets. Any future success our program has will be because of Aubrey and what she did for all these young girls and me this past year. Wittenberg is incredibly lucky to have her and I'm looking forward to these next couple meets that she'll be running as a cruiser. <laughs> to bring to the podium now our next student athlete uh, who will be introduced by Coach Westcan, Mr. Lucas Reed. Attend Otterbein University for football in the fall. 
season before the sophomore season um, he, he's a running back he, he kind of came in and, and I'll say something about him and you know coach he talked about a lot that first rack in the offseason I don't even know if Lucas knows what that meant you might you know when you walk in the weight, uh, weight room there that first rack that gets a couple dudes that are throwing weight around and they are getting after it and let me tell you this guy for two and a half years threw a lot of weight around in that weight room and got after it and it definitely shows um, something about this season a little bit, you know, we were kind of, we, we struggled a little bit early on offensively and then halfway through the season we kind of moved Lucas from wing to fullback and it kind of created a little bit of a spark for us there at fullback that we kind of missed him there. Um, he ended up being second on the team in rushing this year, um, the, just over 500 yards rushing, 500, 5 points on a carry, and it was one of those that, you know, me as, a, as an offensive guy, made it easy. You know, when the guy, the offensive line and your fullback's coming over, the coach traps there, this is there. And you're watching, you're watching on the sideline, it's definitely theirs. You know, they're, there's definitely, they know what they're talking about. Um, you know, unbelievable work, work ethic. He's out there, you know, he's working. When he has spare time, he's putting in time when he doesn't have to, and it pays off. So again, I want to congratulate Lucas Reed on signing with Audubon University. Thank you to my mom, my grandma, for always being there for me and leading me you know, through high school. My boys over here, got my family. You know what I'm uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Reed. The uh, next student athlete that we would like to have come up here is Mr. Marcus Davis, and he'll be, not, he'll be uh, introduced by Coach Weston. Okay, so again, Marcus Davis going to attend Muskingum University. Yeah. A little different than most, Marcus is going to be, um, he, he's going to attend at Muskingum and he's going to participate in football and track. So that, that's kind of different, you don't see many guys do that, it's just, it's hard, it's hard. I'll just be honest with you. So, um, he is a two sport athlete and you're going to have to correct me, last year Marcus was on our 4x1 team that participated in the state that finished fourth in the state of Ohio last year, so that, that's impressive. So with Marcus, it was kind of one of those things we had a lot. We lost some seniors last year in the secondary, and, and we're trying to decide, you know, who, who's going to fit back there. And, you know, he's the guy that caught our eye last spring running in the state track tournament. Uh, we knew we had some guys graduating the previous senior season. Um, Marcus is a great program kid. He approaches every day with 100% effort, and he's got a contagious smile. He does. I'm just telling you. So. Um, Again, I mentioned it, he's taking on a challenge and participating in two sports at the next level. Very few can attempt and or accomplish. So lastly, I want to thank and congratulate Marcus on his commitment to continue playing football and running track at the next level at Mustang and University. Congratulations, Mr. Davis. Thank you, Coach Westcamp. The next student athlete we'd like to call up here on the stage is Mr. Nassau Warmter. Uh, he'll be introduced by Coach Blake Snyder. Uh, 
Mr. Warnter. Uh, going to go play soccer at the University of Tiffin. Uh, it's been a couple years since we've had a, a soccer player up here signing, so th this is a big moment for us. Um, again, another two sport athlete. He played safety for the football team and striker for the soccer team. Anybody that knows those two sports know that those are very demanding positions on your body. And he did a really good job for both all year long. Um, Nesto, only played soccer for our team one year. Um, I heard this kid my, what, last year, when the last coach was here, he said, hey, we got this kid, might be showing up. I said, all right, he shows up to one practice, never seen him again. I take over this year, and Nesta's like, I'm gonna play soccer. I said, yeah, all right, I bet. Shows up, actually played this year, and I'm so glad he did. Um, this season, he scored 12 goals. Four assists. He received first team all conference, and he was our offensive MVP. If you look at this kid, he does not look like a soccer player at all. And and he was an absolute physical beast on the field. I've never seen somebody in a long time with the size and speed that he has and his ability on the ball. So Nesta, it's been a great time coaching you, man, and I wish you the best. Uh, I just want to thank my mom, my whole family, thank you. I love you guys. My, every single teammate, every experience I had, good and bad. And I'm just going to keep improving every day. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Nessa and Walker. And thank you, Coach Snyder, for, for that speech. One thing I, I just want to make sure that the audience also understands is that Nessa, you know, his first year of varsity soccer might have been this school year, but Nessa has played football for the varsity program. You know, um, he's been a football player all four years, too. So if you can imagine, multitasking two sports in the same season. That's exactly what he's been doing this year. Um, Nessa, uh, obviously, uh, know your family very well. Uh, the foundation is strong, and you have been blessed with great parents um, that I know you make incredibly proud, just like your sister, uh, because of the person you are and the way that you push yourself. Um, in my opinion, you're a natural leader. Once again, you might not be the rah-rah type like myself, but you have that quiet confidence and you're always looking to bring others along with you for the ride of success. Um, all I ask is you continue to be who you are, man, because it stands out. So, thank you. And last, but not least, when it comes to our student athletes signing uh, their intent for collegiate sports, um, I would like to call to the stage now Mr. Will Morgan. He will be introduced by Coach Blake Snyder. take a Will Morgan approach to this one because he's already been talked about a lot today. No, I'm just kidding. No, Will, Will uh, has decided to go to Weinberg to continue his football career and kick. But I, I equally think that he could go play college soccer at a lot of schools that he would want to. Um, he's a special kid. You don't see an athlete like him very often. Um, but outside of that, he's a, he's a great kid, honestly. Very smart, very kind, just all around good guy. So I'm proud of you, Will. Good job, buddy.
Third time's the charm, Will. You want to come back and give a few words? Yeah? All right. Um, so that, that uh, concludes our uh, 2024 Senior Athletic Signing Ceremony. Let's give a big round of applause to all of these student athletes. One thing I uh, want to leave everybody in this room with um, is just making you uh, understand, okay, all of you that have been recognized today, you are true ambassadors of this community. You're first class individuals raised from first class families. Your priorities are in line. You put your academics on the same pedestal as you do your athletic achievements. You treat people with respect. And you are the exact role models for younger parents like myself that have little kids to say, that's who I want you to become. I want you to be just like Mr. Grove. I want you to be just like Addie and just like Eva, and every one of you. So I mean it, as a building principal, and as a head principal in year one in this building, thank you so much for being who you are. Thank you for the character and the commitment to excellence that you display daily. You are starting the change that I want to see in this building of, of enhancing our school culture. It starts with people like you, and seniors, thank you very much for embracing me this year. Uh, as your building leader, thank you for the memories that you've created. Thank you for all of the work that you've put into getting better at your crafts that a lot of people don't see, but you know you put in. So, parents, guardians, this is now gonna be your time for pictures. Audience members, I want to thank all of you, especially the students that are here cheering on their classmates. Thank you very much. Um, it's great to be a cruiser because of people like you and families like you in the audience. Thank you very much for being here today.